to morning of day three. I think it's safe to say we've both got absolutely battered rear ends today. So luckily we've got about a 20 mile stretch on the road, which will be uh, nice and smooth. Legs are a bit sore as well. That's the hotel that we stayed at last night. And today we're heading to Port Augustus. So what I'll do is I won't bother filming the road section, but we're going to go over a mountain pass down into Fort Augustus, so I'll, uh, I'll take some video down there. Finally off the road, we've just done 28 miles from Morvik. Now we're about to uh, hit our first off-road section going up this old military road here up over the uh, over the mountain and dropping down into Fort Augustus so we're hoping that there's some nice views up here here we go up the hill we've pretty much saved all of our battery haven't we dad absolutely so now we're just going to go in uh, in the, the top modes and just absolutely blast it up the hill because our legs are absolutely done in from yesterday. <laughs> just come up a bit of elevation we've come from uh, over that way down in Glenshiel it's called it's an absolutely amazing road to be fair probably said it about a million times already but literally up here every corner you go around you just see another incredible view and you've got to stop take a picture or a video the other thing is that you just see uh, trails going off everywhere and it just makes you want to go up them and see what's what's at the other end where they lead to you could literally spend years up here and probably not even scratch the surface i am gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a guess that we were over that side yesterday. I don't know if you can quite make out that peak in the background. But I've got a funny feeling that might be the uh, Glen Afric where we were yesterday. And then down that way, that's Glen Shield. Stunning views. Looks like we're coming up to the top of this Rovers Road now. And we just opened up with some absolutely amazing scenery as usual. Big mountain range down there. Gonna drop all the way down into Port Augustus now. Glad to be standing up and uh, off the saddle. The rear end's getting quite sore now. That big bird of prey up there. Oh, yeah.
Well, I wasn't expecting that. How oh, lovely. Hey? Yeah. My calves are killing me. Here we are in Fort Augustus now. Best way to finish a ride. Last day of riding. Nice short one back to drum the Drocket today. Our houses aren't feeling too bad today either, which is a bonus. So, with it being a short ride, we're gonna blast it with the uh, with the batteries legs are a bit dead temperature's nice and cool but it's going to get sunny later on so we're going to head over to Invermoriston first probably stop for a nice coffee uh, we'll be taking part of the Great Glen Way today back to Drum the Rocket so should be a good ride Nice single track climb up to the main track. Just stopped here, I just want to show you the scale of the trees. Absolutely huge. Loch Ness here. So like I said earlier we're on the Great Glen Way, we're on the lower route at the moment because the uh, the upper route's a bit single tracky and hikey bikey apparently so uh, might come back another day and do the higher route. Uh, if you don't know the Great Glen Way it runs all the way from uh, Inverness down to Fort William, uh, it follows down the side of Loch Ness and then you go down the uh, Caledonian Canal all the way down to Fort William, um, which is uh, a good route if you if you wanted to do some sort of trip like this. A nice bit of trail off the side of the uh, main forest road. can just about make out the single track that we just descended over there so we went down into Invermorrison which is down there had a nice coffee and a bit of cake now we're just climbing up again what mess in the background there
different this is the best view so far absolutely stunning you can see the trail we came on over there yeah we just the i was just pointing that out a minute ago because you can see that single track down there oh yeah more single track in a great, great one way this is awesome Bush to the shoulder then. That was an awesome bit of single track that. Really, really nice and flowy. Here, how good was that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> well nice down there. Look at this gorge. That's a lot like cool down there. Yeah. That's the direction we've come from. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but the end of Loch Ness all the way down there, that's where Fort Augustus is. Just done an absolutely brutal climb. <clears throat> and it's just opened up on the top up here, it's absolutely amazing. We haven't that far to go now, till the end of the ride and the end of the trip.
wasn't expecting this to last this long. Ah, can't jump. Got bags on. Oh, it's loose on there. Thank you. Thank you. No, that was absolutely brilliant. Definitely want to do that section of trail again. Steep climb this. I think that's the uh, the last bit of off road now before we descend into Drum the Drocket. I was oh one mile apparently, but that bit was unreal. I definitely want to come back with uh, without the bags on because there were some nice little lines down there where you could uh, pop some jumps and really get some speed. Yeah, I really love that. So we've just got this little road section now and I think one more off-road bit. And then we're back. Get some dinner. Probably have a beer and then wash your bikes. Right, we're on to the last bit of off-road section now. Yeah. Last you ready? Bit, last <laughs> bit of Looking forward to some food and a beer now, are you? Absolutely, I'm starving. <laughs> Nice and flowy down there, isn't it? Under those trees, just magical. <laughs> Thank you. 
well that's our uh, e-bike bike packing adventure finished now epic adventure yeah would I do it again? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I'll do it again tomorrow, but I don't think my arse can take any more paggering off the saddle. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a lot better than I anticipated. So. And I'm uh, I'm really impressed with you know the kind of terrain you can ride, even with all the the luggage still on your bike, and have have fun. So yeah, I'll definitely do this bike packing again. I don't. I wouldn't do it on a normal bike. I'd 100% do it on an e-bike again, because you can cover so much ground and see so much. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to talk on an off-road e-bike like this. But in all fairness, with the bags we've got, we've got everything we need. I'm yeah. Pretty surprising. I think just about the right amount of uh, distance and time that we've taken to do the trip. I wouldn't want to do any more days without having a rest. And I definitely wouldn't have wanted to do any more distance than this, would you? No, no, this is perfect. Yeah, especially that second day, because that really did uh, take us, all, well, it took us about nine hours in total. Not, com not complete riding time, but, you know, stopping, you know, to have... That's the hardest trail I've ever done in the whole yeah. life. And it's absolutely... Yeah. I'll, never, I'll never forget that as long as I live. Yeah, definitely a trip of, the, of a lifetime. Right, I'll end the video there. If you've watched this video all the way to the end, thanks very much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed it and hopefully we'll bring you another trip like this sometime in the future. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>